Hello! We are going to do an updated altar tour. Now, ignore the trash sitting there. And apparently trash fell out of it. I'm gonna blame the cats. Anyway, we're gonna do an updated altar tour. I already recorded this once on my phone and it messed up. So I'm using my camera. Alright, so first of all, you may or may not recall that my altar is on top of a four cube bookshelfy thing. Well, we have another one. Right here. There's the front door. There's the first one. There's my altar. There's my computer. So in this one from the front, I just have my purse so it's easy to grab when I'm going somewhere. There is um, incense powder all on this because the cats walk across my altar they get their little paws in the incense and then they walk across this and leave little incense paw prints but anyway we tend to keep the surface of this one empty so that like if we're bringing stuff in we can just set it down so let's go to the actual oh god okay I'm gonna shake the camera all over the place I have also incorporated these two cubbies so this cubby is incense mainly and some essential oils in the bottles there and my lighter for incense this cubby which is going to be hard to see uh... is has some tea light candles which are rather cheap and i do mean cheap they're like the cheapest cheap <laughs> they don't even burn right and then a bottle of pink himalayan salt and a bottle of cinnamon sticks and then this <clears throat> Uh, was a jar candle. Now it has my incense powders um, for the um, pentagram incense burner I showed you, and it also has my loose leaf sage. So, on this side, um, we have. <sighs> What's that? Wow, that's stupid. Pushed buttons. Okay. I know it's a little dark. Let me see if I can like, hey, let's see if I can like hold my ring light and make it. There we go. Now you can see a little better. So this one has my oracle decks, my playing cards. This pink box has um, some more crystals in it. Chalice and bell are back there. A little dragon tie beady baby. The dragon box right there is actually being used as a spell box, and um, it has a working in it. This is what I use for my sandalwood incense, because the sandalwood incense that I have is those short sticks that are like all incense, like they don't have any wood to them, so they don't work in the other burners very well. So I just stand it up in this little thing that has rice in it. This is just a container that has some other things in it. It has a candle holder. It has my bells. It has, I don't know, different things. Then on this side, we have my tarot cards and some books. I have my pentagram holder you've seen. A big chunk of black tourmaline and amethyst. And then down here, I have some books as well. Now, let's look at the top. Here's how things have been rearranged. Let's, can I get this to, to... I need you to hook onto my camera or something. Oh, it's too wide to hook onto my camera. To hook, on, hook on something. I need your light, but I also need my hand. Why is it so dark in this house, man? I mean, look, kitchen light, dining room light on. I could turn this light on, but this light is very yellow. It's so weird. It makes everything look yellow. Let's try it, though. Because what's the point of giving you an altar tour if you can't see? Okay, yeah, that made everything nice and yellow. All right, whatever. Oh, look, my computer finally shut off. Okay, so in this corner we have my dragon incense burner. You can see it's been used recently. My dragon that I've had for quite a while. 
This is my little um, soapstone cauldron with a pentagram on it. I have a stick of palo santo and a seashell in there. My wolf coin, my celesti, and my pyrite. One of my rose quartz. My druzy amethyst. A um, tea light. This cat candle and this cat candle were not here before. Now this one has some stains on it from the black candle. Because when I moved... I wrapped them together in newspaper and then they stayed like that for like eight months before they came out of storage so the white candle got stained by the black candle but anyway I got these at a pagan festival in Oklahoma when I still lived there um, they are supposed to be bast um, I have my little unicorn salt and pepper shakers that's just my unicorn representation, this black candle that I've shown you guys that I got around Halloween last year from Target. Moonstone, fluorite, angelite, black tourmaline, selenite, um, clear quartz, kyanite, rose quartz, blue lace agate, rose quartz. These are like my favorites right now. This is the rabbit container that used to have my succulent in it. <laughs> uh, he's not there anymore. He didn't make it. So I have my dried rosebuds in there. I have a clear quartz point in there. And then this is a white howlite pendant I got. Um, I actually won it. I'm trying to get it in the light for you. I actually won it in a contest. Um, and it's very pretty, the white howlite. But the uh, metal, we'll call it, that's on top. Hang on, we're not focusing right there we go. The metal that's on top just looks awful. It's like changed color and stuff. And it's like rough feeling and eh, yeah. Uh, and then we have my corner of Bast. <laughs> we have my Bast figurine I've had for a while, my Bast plushie I've had for a while, and my Bast incense holder I've had for a while. So, and then I have this space that I keep sort of empty. If I draw a couple of cards, I can put them there. I usually keep this particular journal there. This journal is my tarot journal. Like here is my daily card pulls so far. I haven't listed today's yet. Let's do that. And I haven't color coded yesterday's or obviously today's. There we go. I am caught up now. So I just tend to keep this here because it fills the space. And uh, I just move it if I want to do a reading. So this is my new altar setup. I still have Anubis up there. I still need an Anubis figure. So badly. I really want to get the matching one to Bast here. But then I also want to get the matching one to this Bast. I don't know, that's kind of weird. If you notice, all of my Bast figures are her in her complete cat form. Not the, you know, human woman with the head of a cat. And with Anubis, I'll take either one, of course. But um, I seem to be more drawn to the ones where he's in a full jackal form as well. So There actually is an incense holder that matches this one exactly. Like, it has the cone holder here. It has the exact same patterns on the side. And it has Anubis in his full jackal form here. So I want that too. <laughs> I want lots of things. I'm sure we all do. There's more crystals I want. I want more rose quartz and blue lace agate. <sighs> so many things. Alright. You've seen my new altar. Next I'm going to record a video about the letter I for the ABCs of paganism. Okay, thanks. Bye.